Madam Naderi, you are the director of Women for Afghan Women organization. So could you please first tell us uh, how it works your organization? So, yes, I'm the director of Women for Afghan Women. Women for Afghan Women is the largest women's organization in Afghanistan. Uh, we run, we operate in 13 provinces. We run fa family guidance centers, which are legal aid and counseling centers for women and families. If they've experienced human, any form of human rights violations, they come to us. Mm -hmm. We also have shelters for women to stay until their cases are resolved. And what you, could you say about the situation in Afghanistan, especially the situation for women today in Afghanistan? That's a tough question to answer, especially today. Um, if you had asked me this one week ago, mm -hmm. I would have said a lot of progress has been made in Afghanistan. Girls and women are in school, they're working. Um, you know, they have, they, they have an opportunity to, to be what they want to be or do what they want to do. But today, answering this question is a little tricky because um, since yesterday, the Taliban have taken over a major uh, province in Afghanistan. Kunduz is a very big province in the, northern, in the north. And we have a family guidance center there, we have a shelter there, and we have a children's support center there. Um, so they attacked the city at 2 a.m. and they took the, they took over the province there. The Taliban are in power in Kunduz. It's unbelievable. Even, even saying it, it's unbelievable because I, we never expect this to happen, especially with the fact that the international community is still in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. Over billions of dollars have been spent in Afghanistan by Europeans, by the Americans. And to say that the Taliban have taken over a major province is shameful for the Afghan government and for the international community. You know, we should, they should have been aware that this might happen. Nobody wants Afghanistan to become what Iraq has become or the, you know, ISIS in Syria. Nobody wants that in Afghanistan, so they should be a little more aware that, that this could happen and, and control it. So we were, you know, we, we have women in our shelters, we have children in our children's support centers who depend on us. So we had to evacuate them um, in the, at first to, to staff member houses so that they're safe. Um, and then they, they spent yesterday at, 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 at our staff members' houses in several uh, places. And this morning, um, they told me that overnight the Taliban had come to our office and they had looted and burnt everything. They had stolen our cars. Um, and, but we were, uh, thankfully, we were able to um, take out all of our staff and the clients to another province where they're safe now. We're now looking into bringing them to Kabul. Uh, but, you know, it, it's, it's very emotional and very shocking mm -hmm. that after 14 years of investing in Afghanistan, the Taliban are, are strong enough to take over a major province. Yeah, so if I have understood well, it's also difficult for these kind of organizations to work in Afghanistan. And you have also some difficulties and had any uh, treats, treats from the Afghanistan government. So you were in the parliamentary assembly session today and participated to the site event. And uh, how did you see the reactions of the parliamentarians or the parliamentary assembly, Council of Europe, in that point? Uh, their support is enough or what can be do? What can they do? What should have done? Uh, to uncover this question. In so I have uh, my meetings at 2 o'clock now. Mm -hmm. So I have, you know, that's my, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going there now. I'm going to tell them that they have to keep supporting Afghanistan because if European, you know, NATO forces leave Afghanistan, mm -hmm. what we are experiencing now in Iraq and Syria could be in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. And nobody wants that, of course. You know, after billions of dollars after 14 years of time and after thousands of European and American soldiers who were killed and killed in Afghanistan, nobody wants Afghanistan to be ruled by the Taliban. I mean, we all went, the, the, US, the international forces went to Afghanistan to get rid of the Taliban and after 14 years, nobody wants the Taliban back. Mm -hmm. The Afghans don't want them back and I'm sure the international community don't want them back either, so that enough support ha has to be given, given to Afghanistan. Thank you so much for joining us, Madam Naderi, and good luck. Thank you.